Okay, guys, so I'm back with the uh, Gretsch Rancher that I unboxed yesterday. Had a chance to sit overnight. And just wanted to give you my impression, first impression of playability of the guitar. So first off, um, it is a full-bodied guitar, as you can see. It's a full-bodied dread, right? Deep, big, boxy, etc. Now, you would think that this guitar would have a boomy, loud sound unplugged acoustically. And it is the exact opposite of that, which is interesting. And I think it's largely because of this smaller, interesting shaped or, you know, triangular shaped sound hole on the guitar, which might be the reason for it not having that loud projection. Now, I'll just play some basic chords unplugged, and you can probably hear what I'm talking about. For me, home office, don't play out, novice, whatever you want to call me, shitty guitarist, is that a loose translation? This is fine. The volume is fine. But if you're playing with other people where you want to cut through the mix, per se, or stand out, you might have a bit of a challenge with this guitar because it is not a boomingly loud guitar. As you would suspect, or would think a dreadnought body like this would be. But the tone and the sound are fine. I actually like the sound of this guitar. Now, we'll plug it in, and I'll let you hear what it sounds like through this little 40-watt amp of mine. And you can hear what the pickup, which is a Fishman uh, Sonicore or Fishman Isis preamp on this guitar. And I'll let you hear what that sounds like. We'll just futz around with some chords as well. So it's got a tuner, a built-in tuner. You can adjust the middle, you can adjust the treble, you can adjust the bass. If you adjust all of these and put them, you know, to your desire of tone, you do get, you know, a more muted tone if you obviously turn up the bass and the middle and cut the treble on the guitar. So here's what we're talking about. <laughs> You can hear the bass, right? It's a lot fuller. Now, if I cut this, and I cut off some of the bass, and I turn up some of the treble, and I hit the middle switch, you're going to hear the difference. A lot sharper, a lot higher, you know, notes, a lot more trebly. As I said, it has a built-in tuner, which is right here. I'm not going to go through that because it's extremely boring, but you have your little circular um, window so you can see the tuning on it. The tuners on this guitar, these gold tuners on this Rancher, are extremely good. They lock in. They don't slip. Very nice built-in tuners on the guitar. The electronics are fine. 
I love the finish. I love this burst, sunburst finish on this guitar. I think it's really, really pretty. The front, the sides, the back with the figuring of the mahogany wood. Really, really nice guitar. Um, these inlays, I'll be honest with you, the thumbnail inlays are not my favorite. I know they're on a lot of Gretsch guitars. I like the traditional markers in the middle of the frets, but again, that's a personal choice. The nut is actually pretty good on this guitar. They say it's a synthetic bone, whatever the heck that is, right? Um, but it's cut very well, and um, both the nut and the saddle on this guitar are fine, as is. It's got a funky, large Gretsch Rancher bridge on the guitar, which I'm kind of still getting used to, but um, I think it's just aesthetics at this point. I kind of like the tort pickguard with the Gretsch logo on it. I like the headstock. I like the shape. I like this little inverted horseshoe. The only thing I'm not crazy about is this cover that they put screwed down to make the adjustments on the neck, which you want to do on the fly sometimes quickly, and you don't want to have to go through that. I wish it was one of these slide-up type things that they have on some of the upper-end guitars. Um, as I mentioned before, this guitar is made in Indonesia. I think the build quality is excellent from Gretsch. Um, it's not a light guitar by any stretch. Uh, it's got some weight to it, maybe because of the solid spruce top and the size of the, the overall size of the guitar, but I would say this thing is probably four pounds, maybe a little bit more. So it's not super light for a, an acoustic. It might even be approaching between four and five pounds, actually. It's, it's not super light, but it's built solidly. It's built like a tank. Um, it does have nice bracing inside. I'm not going to show it to you because it's hard to see, but it does have, you know, nice bracing. It looks like it's constructed well. Um, my only complaint and I'll tell you the things that I really don't like, is that this sound hole projection is not quite as loud as I might like on an unplugged version of this guitar when I play it pure acoustically. I'm also not super crazy about gloss finishes on the back of the neck. I like more of the matte finish, satin finish, but this does have a full gloss finish on the back of the neck, so those of you that don't like that might not like this. Um, it's a nice, comfortable neck. Uh, it's a flat radius, 12-inch radius, and the neck is not, you know, super deep. So it's a comfortable, I would say, medium, thin to medium neck. Um, what else do we have to talk about, really? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for, you know, a budget, good quality, well-made acoustic electric, this might be something you're, you'd be interested in now. Uh, it doesn't have a cutaway, so some of you that like the cutaway for accessing these frets, which I never honestly play even, I barely get to the 12th fret in terms of playing on the guitar. It's mostly the cowboy chord area, but for those of you that want that access, you don't have it on this because it's a full-bodied, not non-single cutaway. But other than that, it's a great guitar. I really don't have any complaints. Well-made. I like the fact that Instrument Pro sold this as a like-new guitar, and it came in like-new condition extremely um, well packaged. In fact, it looked like a brand new guitar when I got it. Still the covering on the on the pick guard. Um, it really, for all intents and purposes, is a brand new guitar and I got a smoking deal at $199 when these things normally go for $449. Now I noticed that on Amazon they're sold out already. So I guess a couple of you saw this thing and went and pulled the trigger, but there are none, none left unfortunately. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be more to come. But this rancher at that price was a no-brainer. Really nice guitar. Um, if you have any questions, file them below. If you like these videos and find them useful and helpful, please subscribe. And as always, guys, until the next time, be well and stay safe. Take care.